So this is interesting. Researchers from Stanford think that they have found the specific circuit in the brain that controls whether we're social or antisocial. And this is ridiculously good news because I am ridiculously antisocial. When I walk into a room full of people, I picture this energy bar just consistently depleting. And you know, less selfishly, it also could mean breakthroughs for people with social anxiety or depression or severe autism. So there's this technique called optogenetics, which is insanely badass and also just a little bit creepy, where researchers actually inject a virus into an area of a living thing's brain that changes its DNA so that it's light sensitive. It's like a switch. Then they take a crazy thin optical cable and thread it down into the brain through the head to control it with light pulses. Just straight up short circuit of brain. And of course, they short circuited the brains of mice because mouse brains are built very similarly to ours. And one of the mouse brain bits that they set up for remote control is called the ventral tegmental area. The VTA is in your brain stem and it's part of your reward system. It sends chemicals to all different parts of the brain that make us feel happy when we do pro-survival things like eating or mating. So if you are needlessly preoccupied with either of those things, hi, you can thank your VTA. But no one was ever really sure whether it had much to do with social behavior. So these Stanford researchers take their hot wired mice and they put them in a cage with a strange new mouse. And when they flipped the mouse's VTA off, they didn't want anything to do with their new roommate. But then when they told the VTA to send dopamine to a part of a brain called the nucleus accumbens, it was a total mouse party. They were getting close and sniffing and sniffing. I mean, that's basically the extent of my knowledge of mouse social interaction. But what this means is that the neural pathway between the VTA and the nucleus accumbens is responsible for whether a mouse wants to go out and party or stay in and watch Hulu. And it could be the same for us. You know, it is so funny to think about things that we consider major defining parts of our personality. You know, whether we are outgoing or reserved, depressed or happy, can just come down to a single tiny connection in our brains. Connections that we will potentially be able to control. Of course, until then, I will be the guy at the bar, huddled over his phone, checking his Tumblr dashboard. How outgoing are you guys? And if you could control how outgoing you were, would you do it? Speaking of antisocial, I know that I haven't been doing much here. I've been kind of quiet as I get settled in here in LA, but I did host E3 for PlayStation last week, and there are tons of videos of that. I'll leave a link there, and hopefully you're gonna see more and more of this stuff here on my channel soon, so subscribe.